Good morning, card community. Happy Wednesday to you. We're on our fourth day now with our trip through the 1978 top set. This is where we left off yesterday. Moving on today, here we had Henry Cruz, Davey Johnson. Davey Johnson uh, was manager of the Mets in, in uh, 1986 when they um, beat the Red Sox in the World Series. Here he is as a utility infielder for the Phillies. Tom Griffin, Andy Alan Ashby. Alan Ashby was on the uh, 1980 Astros when the Phillies uh, beat them to go to the World Series. Freddie Lynn, everybody loves Freddie Lynn, hard-nosed, great player. Freddie Lynn was the first guy to win Rookie of the Year and MVP in the same season. Uh, trivia question, who was the second? Do, 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 do. That's all right. Ichiro. Ichiro won MVP and Rookie of the Year in the same season for his breakout season. Santo Alcala. Alcala? Don't know. Tom Pekoric. Jim Fergosi. Jim Fergosi, longtime angel. He's had his number retired by the Angels. Here he is with the Pirates towards the end of his career. Went into managing soon after. Managed for a number of teams, including everybody's favorite 1993 Phillies team. Jim Fergosi, Fern Rapp, Cardinals manager at the time. Here's Hall of Famer Bruce Souter, Mike Lum, Rick Langford, longtime quality pitcher, the Brewers team card. If you remember yesterday, I was talking about the Cubs and their headshots. Every other team has this standard pose, just not the Cubs. Don't know why. John Verhoeven, Bob Watson. I thought Bob Watson went on to uh, executive status with some teams. I want to say with the Yankees. I'm not certain about that, but Bob Watson had a distinguished baseball career in the executive realm after his playing days. Good on you, Bob. Mark Little, Dwayne Kuyper. Dwayne Kuyper, a uh, legendary home run hitter in that he had one home run his entire career. And here it is, just the year before, 1977. He hit one home run for the um, Cleveland Indians. That was his only home run in the big leagues. And <laughs> very light hitting uh, teeny guy, uh, middle infielder there. Jim Todd, John Stearns, longtime catcher, backup catcher for the Mets. Bucky Dent, the Red Sox favorite guy. <laughs> Steve Busby, Tom Grieve, Dave Haverlow. Don't know a lot of these guys. Mario Guerrero. Here's Bake McBride, longtime Philly great. Um, I should say longtime. He was with the Phillies during the Air 80 World Series. That's why we love Bake, Jake and Bake McBride. Mike Flanagan, longtime penalty for, pitcher for the uh, Orioles. Aurelio Rodriguez, quality utility infielder, played for a number of teams. John Wathen, hey, passes alive. Jabs, there's your favorite guy. John Wathen, early Royals card. Jim Ewing, Louis Tiant, quality Red Sox pitcher. I think he's still, I'm not sure if he's still alive, but he was always signing outside of Fenway on game days. Larry Bittner, Terry Forster, Del Unser. He was with the Expos here. He made it to our 1980 World Series team. He had a number of key hits uh, that got us to the World Series and in the World Series. Rick Del Unser is a favorite around Philly. Rick Camp, Steve Garvey, quality player. Everybody knows Steve Garvey, borderline Hall of Famer. I don't, I would not say D Steve Garvey should be in the Hall of Fame. He belongs in that you know Hall of Very Good damn near Hall of Fame. If he gets in, you know, people aren't going to be too shocked, but I don't know that he belongs in the Hall of Fame, but you know, we'll find out eventually. And then Jeff Torborg managed for a number of teams. Got Tony Scott, Doug Bear, Cesar Geronimo, member of the Big Red Machine teams. Bill Travers, Mets team card. Tom Poquette, don't know Tom. And then Mark Lemangelo. I've heard the name, don't know anything about him. Mark Hill, and here's my Schmidt card. A nice Schmidt card. I should take that out and get that graded. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> Chris Knapp, Dave May, Bob Rand, a lot of names I don't know. Jerry Turnell, Ed Figueroa. Remember Ed Figueroa? He was around for a long time. Larry Milborn. Rick Dempsey hated Rick Dempsey, hated Rick Dempsey. He was the MVP of the 1983 Orioles that um, beat us in the World Series. He was also, I remember there was a big fight he got into. Uh, with one of the Phillies teams. He was with the Dodgers late in his career in the late 80s, early 90s. <laughs> uh, he got into a big fight with the Phillies one day. Baylor Moore and then Tim Nordbrook. 
Rusty Staub, longtime player with a number of teams. Here he is with the Tigers. Let me take this out, let you look at it. Rusty Staub, take a look, started with the Astros, and then in 1969, uh, the um, Expos were formed, and he got claimed in the expansion draft. You can see that he was with the Expos their first year, and on to the Mets and the Tigers. And Rusty Staub, you got the name Rusty, honestly, he's got red hair. As a younger guy, I'm not sure what color his hair was here or was later on. But, so he had orange hair, red hair, and the French people up in Quebec, where Montreal is, would call him La Grande Orange. That was his nickname. Uh, Ray Burris, Brian Asteline, Jim Willoughby, Jose Morales. This guy here, the Jose Morales card, this is the uh, standard version. I want to show you. Again, and if I haven't done it already, the baseballs that form the card have a simple pink stitching around the player position. You can see it there, but for some reason there was a printing defect in Jose Morales' one. And as you can see that, somehow they got some black involved in there. Now this one is the one that has the most pink. I have the other one at the end. But Jose Morales, he has an error card where the stitching around the ball is primarily black, not pink. And I don't know why, it was just his was the one card that had that error. Jim Wolford, I remember him from a lot of different teams. Manny Sarmiento. Uh, Bobby Winkles, what a name. Bobby Winkles was the A's manager back in the time. Skip Lockwood, a young Ted Simmons. Remember Ted Simmons started his rookie card, I believe, is 71. He still looks like a fresh-faced kid in that picture. My Phillies team card, hooray. This is at the old vet. Joe Lahoud. Mario Mendoza from the Mendoza line. Take a look at his stats. Remember, he barely batted 200 in a year. Because his career batting average right there is 202. And yet he played a good number of games every single year for the Pirates. I think he went on to the Mariners later on in his career, but he was he was just a, an absolute, you know, utility guy. Stayed around for a whole bunch of years, and he is the namesake of the Mendoza line. Uh, I said this in another video of mine a long time ago. George Brett coined that term. He was quoted in the newspapers one day saying, every day I wake up and get out of bed and check out the box stores to see who's batting under the Mendoza line meaning who was batting less than 200. So I got Jack Clark, quality player for a number of years. Tito Fuentes, ditto. Bob Gorinsky, no idea. And Ken Holtzman, quality pitcher for a number of times, number of your teams. Bill Fahey, Julio Gonzalez, Oscar Gamble was on the Phillies a couple of years before this. He had this big fro. And you can see here, he was on the Phillies back in the early 70s, Oscar Gamble. So I was trying to remember who was, who was ever a member of the Phillies, and there's been lots of them. <laughs> Larry Haney, Bill Allen, Tippy Martinez, Roy Howell, Jimmy Hughes, and Bobby Stinson. Nobody's jumping out at me here. That's okay. Most of them won't. Greg Gross, longtime utility player for the Phillies, utility outfielder. He's with the Cubs here. Eventually, he made it to the Phillies. Got on our World Series. He was a big, he was a big um, asset to us in the World Series. Certainly, the playoffs with the Astros as well. Don Hood, Pete McCannon. Pete McCannon was a manager of the Phillies after Ryan Sandberg and before Gabe Kapler. Uh, I, I don't see him here, but I know in a couple of years he ended up on the Phillies for a brief stay. I want to say his in 79 or 78, he ended up with the Phillies for a brief period. And I guess he stayed in the organization because he ended up, like I said, a coach under Sandberg and then a um, manager on his own right after Sandberg left. Here's your Nolan Ryan card. Spark Anderson right next to him, two Hall of Famers. Dave Campbell, Buddy Harrelson, tough nosed, hard guy. He's a lot like Pete Rose, really spunky and fiery, too. The great scene with those two getting into a big fight on second base after. I, I want to say Pete slid in too hard to Buddy Harrelson, and they went at it right there. Tigers, team card. Raleigh Eastwood played for the Phillies later on in his career. Mike Jorgensen, Odell Jones, John Zedeb. Check out that name. You want to see odd names. 
Joe Zedeb. I don't know how you pronounce it. Is it Zdeb or Zedeb? I'm just going to say Joe Zedeb because I don't know how else to say it. Ron Schuler, Bill Madlock, great player. Bill Madlock was. He's a borderline Hall of Famer. Highlights of the World Series, the um, American League Championship Series where the Yankees beat the Royals. National League Championship Series where the um, Dodgers beat the Phillies. This was from se the highlights from 77, obviously. Boo. And here's Reggie. Uh, Reggie and Yanks reign supreme because 77 was the year he hit those um, three home runs in the, in the game. And then Daryl Knowles. So, well, I hope you enjoyed that one. That was day four. We're down to Wednesday. We got three more days to get through this set. Remember, 726 cards. So I'm trying to get through them all. Um, trying to be quick about it. Trying to tell you a little bit. Hope you're enjoying it. I'm on vacation, so I'm enjoying doing nothing but posting these videos. I'll see you tomorrow.